Hi, I'm Mary Poppin with Boris Effects, and today we're going to check out BCC for Nuke in a quick look. So what is Boris Continuum Complete? It's hundreds of professional VFX plugins, effects, 3D titling, particles, blurs, and many more effects just one click away. Now with OFX support for Nuke. Using the effects is really easy. I simply click on my BCC effects, and in this case we're going to change this little drama queen's color scheme to be something a little bit more blue. So we're going to go to our film style and we're going to select fast film process, which is something I really like. And we're going to launch our effects browser. Now the effects browser is really neat because once you launch it, you can select various looks that you want to apply to this footage. Now I really like the color saturation boost, but in this case we're going to select night interior because I want that blue look. We can apply it and then we can actually mix it with the original if we like, or we can actually come into the pre-processing itself and we can increase the saturation or increase the contrast, whatever we want to do to push this color and we can do it really really quick. And that is the power of the BCC tools. We also have the ability to apply fast film glows, so in this case we're going to hit tab, and we can either hit tab or we can navigate to the menu over here. In this case I'm going to hit tab and type fast film glow. Let's just grab that and drop it on. We can still use the effects browser for this if we like, so we can find many different film glow presets that we like. In this case I like the push color red glow, and we're going to hit apply, and that's going to completely change the look of our film. And you can see it's pretty fast. Let's go ahead and hit play. Because tons of the BCC effects are actually GPU accelerated. Now another effect we can apply on top of this is there's a sun that moves back here. So let's just scrub forward to that. And where the sun is, I want to add a 3D lens flare. So let's just hit tab and let's type in BCC lens flare 3D. Once we have BCC Lens Flare 3D, we can actually move the position all the way over here. Notice we have some on-screen controls. And again, I can use the effects browser to find a preset, or I can mess with settings, but in this case we'll just use a nice preset and hit apply. Once we've hit apply, we can make sure our position is correct. We can actually animate that position over time. So I can jump ahead and move my position. There's also some really beautiful lens blur effects that you can get inside of the BCC 10 tools. So let's use BCC Fast Lens Blur. And it really is quite fast. So let's go ahead and do an iris scale of zero and let's animate that. So let's do a set key. Now let's go all the way to the end of our shot here and let's do a scale of 200, for example. And let's set the key. And you can see that the results you get are really gorgeous and really fast. Your speed mileage may vary based on your GPU and your computer specs. But it's not all blurs and glows. We can also use BCC Beauty Studio to do skin cleanup. Nuke is often used for paint and beauty work, so this can be a real time saver. So we type tab BCC Beauty Studio. We add it right to our timeline. Now the fun thing about this is that we can actually use mocha shapes if we want to. So we can go into our pixel chooser, and we're going to go into our mask and mocha, and we're going to go into our matte. Now in our matte, what we're actually going to do is we're going to pick some colors. So we click, and then we command click, and then we click, and then we command click, and we select the colors of her skin. And you can see it does a really good job of keeping her eyebrows and her lips out, but it softens her skin all over. We can also use mocha shapes to refine these masks around her nose and maybe her lips if we feel like they need it. So we can simply go to Pixel Chooser On and launch Mocha. Now this is not Mocha Pro, this is actually Mocha for BCC built into the BCC Pixel Chooser. Even though this isn't Mocha Pro, I still have access to Mocha's world-class planar tracker and rotoscoping tools. From here, I simply draw my shapes around my girl's face, and we make sure that we use Add to X-Blind to isolate her eyes and mouth from that shape. If we hit Track Forward, we can track this through the scene. Now we simply save and close, and our shapes are applied to our Nuke timeline. And our matting is still there, so our keys are still there, but we're using Mocha Masks to refine our shapes. We can actually come into our Mocha Mask and even feather it as well to make it softer around the edges. Inside of the smoothing, 
We can take down the master amount if we feel like that's too high, or we can bring it up if we want to make her look like she's from Lord of the Rings or something. But we want to keep it around a place where we can still see the texture of her skin and not blow everything away. We are also able to do some quick color corrections, so if we click color correction on, we can actually increase the saturation of her skin and give her more of a glow and make her pop a little bit more. So here's the original, and here's after. We also have a compare mode where I can turn compare mode on and view these side by side. For Nuke users who need text and titles, you can actually add those in one of two ways inside of the BCC tools. So let's go to tab, BCC Title Studio. And we're going to make a lower thirds. We're going to launch our effects browser and let's scroll down to a rounded lower thirds. Inside of our rounded lower thirds, we can preview it inside of our effects browser and we can customize it. For instance, we can type tonight at 11 and BCC news. If we hit apply, it's applied directly to our timeline. And we can simply merge this back over our original footage. Or Nuke users can use BCC extruded text. We can launch the UI window, type in extrude, apply it, and we can affect the depth of our extrusion. We can adjust the lighting. We can adjust the bevel amount. And we can start to apply materials. We can also shatter our text. Or apply curls, ripples, pulses, and bends and tapers. There's so many things to do in Boris Effects. You're certainly not limited to the short sampling I've shown you here. Boris Effects announces support for Nuke from the Foundry. To find out more, go to www.borisfx.com.